I genuinely feel for Mike Tyson, bro. Like, like, like I, I used to watch like all of his highlights, man. And I did not think that Mike Tyson was the type of person to sell out for bread. Oh my God, bro. Oh, hell, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? Get your ass on, man. Jake Paul, Mike Tyson. Happened last weekend. <laughs> Holy fuck. What a shit show. Jake, in his athletic prime, <laughs> is beating and hitting a fucking senior citizen. It was, it was disgusting. It was, it was, it was sad, man. He also made sure the ring was bigger than usual, so he could fucking skedaddle out the way whenever Mike went in. Whoa, 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 hey, 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 hey. And they're wearing fucking 14 ounce gloves. Sparring gloves, man. You know, just in case Mike being nearly fucking sissy was enough of a fact that Jake had Jake Jake could fight some of power. No, no. He had to fight old men or 155ers. We all saw it. Everyone knows Mike in his prime would hit Jake. And he'd literally disintegrate. He'd die. He'd, he'd just he'd be dead. Everyone knows it. Everyone's kind of figuring, uh, it, it's rigged in Jake's favor. Bigger ring, an even bigger fucking age gap that helps with fucking everything. But you got people saying it's scripted. I, I didn't think that he was going to be, I know the internet is fake. I, listen, y'all know this. I talk about this all the time. Y'all know that I talk about how inauthentic that people are and, and like how fake everybody is now. And I'm just, I'm one of the last ones left, man. But, but I thought Mike Tyson was one of those people. And unfortunately, I, I found out today that he's not. Before I continue, don't send any hate to this dude. He seems like a cool guy. Uh, give, him, give him a little cheeky subscribe, yeah. I just think his, uh, his take is a bad one. But it's also popular right now. Like, a lot of people believe Mike Tyson's sold out, which is disrespectful just sad man like there's generally people angry at mike calling him a fraud and a sellout a scammer when in reality he's an old man he just he just couldn't keep up as simple as that fuck i thought he was gonna get knocked out i'm surprised he didn't see some of the shots fucking jake landed on him <laughs> like that's not fake bro you throw those at any other six year old man he's gonna be one foot in the grave look when he lost he genuinely looked heartbroken you know why? Because I I know you've seen that fight. Everybody that is watching this video right now seen that fight. And y'all know that even though he's 58, I don't care what nobody says, bro. And I'm not cutting any of, the, uh, any of my emotion out of this video. I don't care, bro. I don't care how people perceive me. I don't care how you look at me. I don't care about none of that. Okay? I don't care if he's 58. I don't care if he's 68. I don't care if he's 98. It's Mike. Okay, all right. You know, if he's, if he's 98, that's probably 58. It's cool, all right? I, I see, I, I've seen a 67 year old man buff. Huge, bro, because he took care of his body. That's Mike Tyson, he's, fit, he's not even 60 yet. He's 58, bro, like, he still has that power. He did not use that power because it's entertainment. <laughs> I don't really get the point of bringing up fucking buff old men, you've seen. Mike's in shape, he is, he's shredded. But like, you forget a few months before this fight, he nearly died. He had a fucking crazy surgery. He lost like 25 pounds. Even if he recovered, just look at him. You can see it in his open workout before the actual fucking fight. In his open workout, he was looking old and slow. And that wasn't even fucking scripted. It's his legs is scrawny compared to his prime. He doesn't have that fucking explosiveness. Just launch forward, close the distance, land the shots. He doesn't have that lower body strength which you need in boxing. I mean, look at the second round, for example. Mike did manage to close the distance. Jake kept his guard up, move out the way. As the younger, faster guy. And he fucking rocks Mike too. He landed a heavy punch. He was trying to put Mike out right here. Like, look, holy shit, look at that punch. Which, by the way, just more evidence this isn't fucking scripted. You can't fake taking a punch like that. Especially when you're an old ass man. You, see, you can say Mike then uses power. But like, these two punches right here were KO punches. If Jake didn't roll with that first punch, he'd be rocked. And his hook here, that is, that is fucking deadly. Jake's whole fucking body vibrated. If that hook didn't land on his neck, 
If that landed on his chin, I think Jake would have been sleeping, bro. I don't even understand where his like narrative Jake scripts his fight comes from. See, Mike Tyson could have knocked him out there. But Jake Paul's chin was wide open. But then Mike Tyson realized just as he was about to throw that punch that, oh no, I'm getting paid lots of money. I can't knock him out. <laughs> so ridiculous, mate. This video has been sent to me so many times. It's went viral. People seeing that Mike Tyson could have knocked him out. See, it was a scam. It was a scripted. But if you know boxing, you'll know exactly what's happened right here. Mike started to throw the punch as Jake Paul was moving. And he realized in that split second that if I throw this punch, it's going to miss because he's moving out of the way. So what did he do? Decided not to throw the punch. It's as simple as that, my friend. He rigs them in his favor and he cherry picks his opponents. Yes, 100%. Scripted? Fuck no. What, so he can pay Mike Tyson to take a dive, but not Tommy Fury? Oh, come on, bro. He just scripted Tyron Woodley landing a fat ass overhand on his chin, nearly knocking him out. Dear God, tell me why he would script Ben Askren, the worst striker ever seen in MMA history, to land a clean overhand in the first few seconds on Jake. Listen, I hate Jake. I wake up and I think to myself, how come no one shot them pool brothers yet? Like, they shot Tupac. Why, why not this guy? But look, he has been boxing for nearly a decade. He says he's been boxing four years, but he's been boxing seven. He says four just so you, it's in your mind like, oh, he's, 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 he's more of a fucking YouTuber. Only four years. Like, come on. But no, seven years, fight camp after fight camp after fight camp. If you look at his team, he trains with like world-class boxers. Take out the fact it's Jake Paul. Close your eyes. In your head, imagine a six-year-old boxer who was once really 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 good versus an average boxer who has about seven years experience and he beats the older guy that's that's not that crazy the only reason it's crazy is because you hear mike tyson and you think of that cunt in his prime back in the 80s that's not mike tyson right now i mean fuck look at his fight from like 20 years ago one of his last ones listen mike first let's start with you did you want to continue well i would like to continue but i saw that i was getting beat on i realized I don't think I have it anymore because um, I got the ability to stay in shape, but I don't got the fighting guts, I don't think, anymore. When did you recognize that? At what part of the fight? I don't know. Early into the fight. Um, I'm just sorry I let everybody down. I, mean, I just don't have this in my heart anymore. I don't have the stomach for this kind of no more. I got, I'm more, I'm more I'm conscious of my children and those guys looking at my parents. I'm just, I, don't have, I don't have that ferocity. I'm not an animal anymore. Does that mean we won't see you fight again? Yeah, that's most likely I'm not going to fight again. I'm not going to dis I'm not going to disrespect the sport anymore by losing to this caliber of fighters. Don't look at this fight and think, "Fuck, Mike Tyson is a sellout. What a disappointment." Look at this fight and go, "Wow, Mike Tyson did really well for a six-year-old man. Holy shit, Jake Paul is a booty cheeks. He couldn't KO a six-year-old man." That's what this fight should be remembered for. Clown Jake, not Mike. There is no way in hell I would understand if Mike Tyson was like 70-something years old, all right? All right, okay, Jake Paul, come on. But, like, dude, I mean, I understand that 58 is still 58, but it's still Mike Tyson, bro. Like, 58 in Mike Tyson years is like, is like 36. Well, that's just wrong, plain and simple. MMA fighters, boxers, all their careers usually start to decline in their late 30s. That's just how it is. I've seen a scripted staged fight. There's so many of my IRL friends that told me that he was going to sell out for the bread. I didn't believe it. I thought Mike Tyson was one of the authentics. I thought he was one of us. That keep it real at all times, no matter what. He's not one of them people. I don't see it anymore. You just watch the six-year-old man step back in the ring, even though you don't have to, and go all eight rounds. That's an achievement, man. But simply because people can't comprehend a world where Jake Paul beat a six-year-old Mike Tyson, they're saying it's a fake and scripted fight, which is now leading to people going and saying stuff like this. And it's not just this guy. I've seen it in Instagram comments, even though they're quite brutal twitter like all over the joint this mike is a fake a liar a fraud he sold his soul why would he do this and it's, it's just really sad to see he's 60 years old a 60 year old retired fighter came back won the first two rounds against a boxer half his age 
went all eight rounds. Like that's that's incredible, bro. Pulling Mike Tyson fraud is just so disrespectful. Disrespect he don't fucking deserve. He wanted to win. You just don't want to believe Jake Paul beat him. Anyway, that's about it. He, he goes on about his Twitch or something. Go subscribe to Bro's channel. I don't think he's a bad person or anything. Well, I don't. I don't want him fucking dead for this or anything. He has an opinion. I understand his reaction. It is hard to grasp the fact Jake Paul beat Mike Tyson. <laughs> yes, sweet. That's the world we live in. I, I just wanted to point out the whole scripted non nonsense makes no sense. And he, was, and he was a good example. This video is a good example for it. Check his channel out. He makes cool vids. She, I wouldn't mind a few subs myself, by the way. Couple away from 1,000. Oh, yeah. Leave a comment if you guys would like to see more of these type of videos in the future. And yeah, see you later, boys.